What's up YouTube, welcome back to On The Guest Show and we're back with another video. Finally, today is the day that we're gonna get some content on the Peterbilt 389. We're right here at the one and only shop, the Texas Chrome. We had dropped off the 18 wheeler. When was it, Chop? Back in December, second week of December. Back in December, we dropped off the truck and we were supposed to get it fully customized. We also got invited to be part of Discovery Channel in Espanol. These guys have a show in Discovery in Espanol called Texas Trucks. I believe they're gonna record their fourth season. I think they delayed it a little bit more. We need the truck, because we actually, we got a lot of shows coming up, right Frank? We have a lot of shows. It's August, and 2023 show season is gonna creep up on us, and we're trying to buy a trailer. We don't have a rig to pull it with, so we need the rig. But that rig is actually here. It's actually over there on that side, if you see it. That truck's been here for a while. I know you guys been asking for our content, at least, one comment every video one fan is asking for the peter bell update well here it is today we're going to give you an update on that today actually we're going to go over what all we going to do to a truck how much chrome we're going to put what kind of color we're going to choose one single color or we going to switch it up do a two-tone either a frame this color or in the cab this color today we're going to be choosing all that i think we're going to get new stacks a new grill a new bumper a bunch of new chrome stuff i know that truck is going to have a bunch of lights because i do want a lot of lights i want it to glow at night my boy chop got 18 wheelers too he said he'd be doing the same thing uh, we do a little bit a little bit. Got, like what, four, four or five chicken lights? <laughs> five chicken. Hey, and one of them's out. It blinks while you're going down the road. But anyways, we're gonna give you an update on that. I'm actually excited about that. If you're a trucker, this is the shop. This is the candy shop, right, Chop? This is your little toy store. This is Toys R Us for our truck drivers. Yeah, so finally, we're gonna get an update on the big 389 Peterbilt. There's a lot of badass trucks, bro, everywhere, everywhere you look. Last time that we came, my boy Orlando showed us. He actually has a bar over there in the back. He has a gym in the back. Unfortunately, we have haven't released that video because we were supposed to wait for the Discovery Channel. Yeah, we we're gonna wait for the Discovery Channel filming and for them to come out, then we could drop the vlog. Kind of like the Street Outlaws deal. Yeah, kind of like that. So that video is kind of old. You know, we needed to get a new video. That's why we came over here to San Antonio at the Texas Chrome Shop. Right now we're waiting on my boy Orlando. He's on his way. And once he gets here, we'll show you a little bit more of what are we gonna do exactly. Let's go inside. Good in here. That's Almost like good. when you walk into like a Louis store. Yeah. yeah. Man. Right. Yeah, I got a rear, bro. They're not saying it's a boy. I'm broke. I don't. They got a bunch of parts here. They got a bunch of chrome. They got a bunch of lights everywhere. If you're a trucker, this is gonna be your favorite store. The Chrome Shop, it's a toy store for the truckers. That's why my boy Chop is here. He's gonna be helping me out with the build. Once you're a truck driver and you have a little bit of time off, what do you do? You go to a Chrome you Shop. You come to a Chrome Shop. And then you just walk around and just throw all your money in Chrome parts, right? If yeah. not, first thing is you come get you some polishing wheels. Chop, I know you ain't polishing no wheels, bro. You ain't seen my truck lately? No. <laughs> Last time I saw it. <laughs> I got that whole buffed up. Nah, nah. He lying or what? He lying, bro. You and Guti. You'll be having your trucks all day. So when you're a real truck driver, you have a pride on your ride, right? You try to keep that thing clean. Before this one, I had a W9 and it was all customized. It was so clean and so nice, I wouldn't want to go to work. Cause I was turned down work. Turned down work because it was too muddy. I didn't want to get that thing dirty. That's the pros and cons about having a custom truck. Well, I had an end up trailer, so I had to go in the dirt. I didn't want to get my truck in the dirt. Most of these trucks just stay on the highway. Once you're a truck driver, you get a little bit of free time. You're gonna come over here and buy you all kinds of accessories like all this stuff. All these are caps for the lug nuts. These are for the smaller boats. It's a candy shop for the truck drivers. There's all kinds of stuff that you can put on. Yeah, the hubs, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that you can put on. But he actually likes wearing shirts that are not on the gas. He actually likes wearing big rig shirts. You never even got on an 18 with a bro. It's a fucking they, they look cool, bro. They, they <laughs> look cool. He doesn't even know how to drive standard, bro. <laughs> look, you got this shirt. I do what you mean? Shirt. What you mean I don't know how to drive? I don't know how to drive. He's so offended, bro. What you mean? What you mean? I do have that shirt. He has this shirt. He's never been on a rig before. He's never ever sat on it. No, see? We, we went to go pick up a, a bulldozer. Kind of like this. Back in the day. Yeah, you can pretty much find everything here. And if they don't have it here, I'm sure they can order it. It could get expensive, too. If you look at this grill, which is this ring right here, you can see the price right here. It's 500 bucks. Just for this. If you want the whole hood, it's 3000 but overall, good shit. If you want your truck to look good, this is what you need to come. All right, guys, so we're right here at Texas 
Chrome in San Antonio, Texas. Roles, what all you do here, bro? For the people that don't know what exactly you do, what all you do here? Basically, this is your one-stop shop. We sell Chrome accessories for any type of semi, paint and body, collision, you name it, we do it. Everything, in everything. and out, interior, in and out, brother. trailers, trucks, Turkey. everything. Todo lo que sea, tanto camión, aquí lo arreglamos, we fix it all up, man. There you go, that's why I bought my truck over here. Like I said, we had bought this truck back in December. We were supposed to be getting it ready. There was an opportunity for us to be in the Discovery show called Texas Truck. Three seasons already. We did three seasons and uh, called Texas Trucas, but man, we were ready to do a fourth one. And I had called Eto and told him I want you to be episode one. Sí. But we do have a whole bunch of trucks here. We work every day. Yeah, and yeah. Man, I said, Beto, you know what? I won't be able to do it this year. Maybe next year, but let's get your truck done. It's a little complicated, right? It's when a lot they, of work, when man. When they come in here, there's cameras all over the place. There's 25 uh, people, camera A, camera B. It gets pretty hectic. It gets pretty hectic. We're here with the truck again. We actually had a video already, but we're going to do a brand new video. We're going to give you guys a rundown of what all we're going to do to a truck. We're changing everything out. We're going to change the color. We're going to add a bunch of chrome stuff. We need a bunch of new parts. Let's get started with, Ooh. well, what's the first thing that you do? What's the first thing you change? Me, the most most important thing on a truck, I mean, I've said it since day one is paint. So what we're looking at now is a factory color and it is. you tell me what you want, but This truck is a 2012 389 Peterbilt. It originally came this color, black, and this, what, like a little copper color? Yeah, copper. Copper. I was thinking I want to keep it simple, I want to keep it nice. I want Perrillo, my boy Alex, to have an easy day once it's time to wash the truck. So I do want to paint this truck white. Okay. want to paint it white. I do have a Ford 450. It's a really nice white with pearls. I don't know if you've seen it before. Yeah, I've seen it. I actually want to add the same color. Now, I do want to do a little bit crazy on the frame. I do want a red frame. And I do have a special paint called On The Gas Red, the same one that we use on the 2022 SEMO build. We do have a custom red. Shout out to my people out there in Orion. Orion Finishes. They're going to be hooking us up with the paint on that. So it's going to be white and red frame. I do want a new bumper. Similar to this, I want some lights on the side. You were giving me an idea of we can actually do a custom grill, right? Man, I think what we need to do is a custom grill, punch grill stainless, and incorporate the logo of on the gas whether it's off to the bottom right corner right in the center right in the center wherever you want well what i'm gonna do on this truck i'm gonna get uh, ata truck accessories involved they're out of california junior actually he's a good friend of mine he's one that i can just call create it if we're gonna put on the gas the logo right in the middle we'll make a 304 stainless 14 gauge we'll make it happen as a matter of fact he can do everything he can do your boxes your bumper oh, he the does, whole nine yards he does everything 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 so it's so, just pretty much one, one guy, guy one vendor we're gonna use okay for your build there you go i like it on the gas racing here of course if you want to add something else here that actually matches the truck we can do that i do want a new bumper like i said maybe same style but with the corner the watermelon yeah well what's popular is what you have there we'll do something a new one might end you're gonna put a plate maybe we'll do a recess tag crooked or straight however you want it sunk in no plates no plates okay we'll leave it like that just simple clean awesome and just the logo on the front of course we want to take this out yeah that's gotta go what do you let me ask you this the guy's gonna drive it he's not a rookie right mm. No. Professional. Uh, yes. That's yes, gotta go. That's for rookies. It's, it's chop. Okay, cool, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 Those are rookie mirrors, bro. Yeah, That's what they call us. I actually bought it like this. I bought the truck with this. Those gotta go. Right here. You think we should leave this chrome new light so we should color match it? I, I like that. Definitely. What we gotta do is change this out, put an upgraded light, put okay. something LED, maybe incorporate some JJ bars here with some lights. I would polish it out, man. Polish it out. We're okay. all gonna have everything polished here. Yes. With your new grill, new bumper. We'll add some JJ brackets. We gotta do some more modern LEDs up more there. Modern LEDs. I have seen those LEDs before. Yeah. So we gotta fix this fender. We had a little incident here, but it's cool. It's something simple that we can replace. Right? That's no fixing. We're gonna put a new fender yeah, on. Put the... a new fender yes, here, sir. of course. Let me ask you this on the fender. Do you want something that sits a little lower? You want like oh. a four or five inch lip? Mm. No, I actually want this thing to go lower. Now it's already bagged in the front. You want to pop it? Yeah, let's pop, pop it. Listo. This thing is bagged already. It's not original. It's, it didn't come with the bags. We actually got these bags installed a couple of years ago, but I think we're gonna have to get a new setup. New setup, new shocks, new bags. If you see something wrong with that, we're gonna have to replace okay. it. Okay. I do want this truck to sit lower. Right okay. now, it's aired out all the way, but it's not as low as I want it to be. Yeah, I can already see there's already a, there's a block underneath there. We can pull that out. So that's gonna drop you another inch and a half easy. I actually want the tire to be really close to the fender. Okay. I'll show you some pictures of what exactly I want. I don't know if we need to change out. Basically, you want what you do with your trucks to look. Yes, 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 I want it to be, be que, que ten el suelo, yes, We want to do that, change the bags in the front. Let's talk about the steps. What kind of steps options do we have? We're going to use uh, ATA truck accessories okay. for the steps. I would eliminate this step, and what I would want to do is go with the old school boxes. This one's already been 
trimmed and cut. Yes. So we'll do, we'll do away with it. Whatever you put on the driver's side, we'll match it here. Match it. This was Toolbox, actually. Toolbox, driver's side for your battery. This was actually deleted, so ya no tiene nada okay. de depth. It's going to sit lower. It's going to sit about here, and that'll give you room to add some cap panels okay. to give you that low look. I want that smooth step. Stainless steel. That's Stainless it. steal. Ma mirror the best. Si, lo some custom foot pads. Si, a huevo. Si, si. And maybe we can add some that say on the gas racing también. There you go. You think our people of Terry California can hook us up with that? They're going to do that also for us, There man. you go. Filters. Esto se queda así, va? I would do this on the filters. I would make them strapless. Do away with this. That way you don't see no visible straps on it. Okay. And maybe chop the filter about an inch and a half, a two inches. A little bit. Maybe some lights inside? We can do whatever you want. Some uh, red lights. Since the truck is going to be white and the frame is going to be red. And corporate draft. Corporate, yes. Awesome. Yeah, we'll definitely chop it and we'll do away with this and make it strapless. Mirrors. Actually, I like that mirror, but like it's mirror? up to you if you no, want to no, no. go with a different style of you're, mirror. You're the professional I, I here. think that mirror is different. It's a different look. I don't have a problem with it, man. Just polish it out or maybe paint them. I can paint them and then also for sure the visor, man. Oh, I don't yes, know about visor. That visor. We need another visor, something low, something flat with no bolts. I do want a color match. So I want it to be white. And of course, I want a bunch of lights on top. What do you want to do up on top? How many lights can you put on top? As many as you want. We like I mean, to party. We can do 11. Nine, seven. Let's do eleven. I'll show you a picture right now. See, you know, más o menos para que tengas una idea. The horns. Do it with them. The horns gotta go. A radio antenna gone. Everything. I want it smooth. Smooth. There's some pads ahí arriba. Shave them down. I want this yeah, thing. Yeah, we'll take it off and we'll make sure to glass it. Smooth. That way it's smooth. Smooth out, yes. So we got this cover. We got the fenders. We're keeping this. We might color match this. I don't know. It just depends how it looks. Stacks. We do want to change the exhaust. This is probably like a year, year and a half old. Since we're getting a bunch of new stuff, we got to get new stacks. What company do you recommend for the stacks? I think definitely for what you want. I mean, knowing that you're a high-end customer, we're going to give you the best. We'll go with Dynaflex, Dynaflex. stacks. Eight inch, eight inch all the way with an elbow. Nice custom paddle brackets. Everything's going to be stainless steel, dipped in chrome. The stacks are going to be metal dipped in chrome. They're going to look flawless, bro. Flawless. The best. So, looking at this right now, we don't have the best of the best because it shrinks. It, it goes from eight to five inch. Oh, okay. so. I mean, they're nice, but I know yeah. you're picky. You want the best, right? Yeah, we do want the best because it's going to be pretty much a show truck, you know? We want, you know, the best of the best. There is something missing here that I do want to add. ¿Cómo se llama este pedazo de aquí? The cap panel. The cap panel. I do want the cap panel. I actually like the original Peterbilt cap panel. Se miran así, está un poquito bajito, and I actually wanted the same color of the truck, no lights. Since we're going to be doing the step, actually, we're going with an OEM box stainless steel custom. It's going to give us more room. So on this, it's free reign, whatever you want. Okay. You can go four inches, five, six, seven, eight, okay. whatever your preference is. I don't like to get it too big because then it looks too gaudy. Maybe like a five inch would look cool. So we're going to custom make and we can punch out lights facing down, like little mi mini red. Si, Cause you want red, we'll put them all down. We can do a three or four inch separation. On your cap panel, you have an option to do a two piece or a one piece. I would go with one and then it's going to follow back to the it's sleeper. It's going to follow all so the way back. There. Yeah, we'll, we'll check it out right now. You show me the different styles yeah. that you got. This, this got to go. I actually do want to thin, but I don't want it this big. So you want to shorten it? Shorten it, okay. yeah, four inches. Okay, cool. That's the usual, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. Four well, we'll shorten it for sure. I know when you came originally, we talked about the for sure. The we got to give you bigger tanks. We got to get the tanks. We're going to put sides. 150s, what you have there is 110s. 150 is going to fill in this, uh, about a four and a half gap okay. that you have here. So it'll be a match made in heaven. Once we get it done, we can go with some bigger straps, custom. Bigger straps, color match, tanks. So you want the tank to be white. White. The only chrome thing that I want on this is going to be the stacks, the steps. You want to leave your end caps polished for rug chips? Yes. So we'll leave the end caps. Everything else is going to be painted. The straps are going to be stainless steel. Stainless steel, yes. We're going to shorten these the way you want them. The mirror here, since you got a professional driver, we can do it with that. Yeah, yeah take that off. That. Yeah, yeah, take that off. Cool. Chop, you got it? Yeah, you got it. There you go. Hey, what about window chops? Yeah, I mean, if something that follows the visor. Yeah, straight line. Yeah, it'll probably be like a six inch, seven inch, wherever yeah. the visor ends. If it ends here, we'll make them to match perfect. Okay. I want those and color you want match to paint too. it, right? Paint that, it, yeah. That'll look badass. Acá también. That'll look badass. Right here in the back, we have a lot of space to party. I want lights and I want on the gas racing on top. Cool. You know, airbrush or whatever. It's got to be painted, but we're not going to put no stickers on your truck. Okay, okay, yeah. Paint it, airbrush or whatever. On the gas, I see, you know, paint it. Y luego como con some good pin strike. Okay. Gris con rojo, como el chasis hace rojo. Awesome. Sí. If we do that, then we can actually, whatever we do on the deck plate, we'll do red pinstripes. Well, you're going to have the, the frame red, so we'll do some white pinstriping Andale. to actually follow the theme that yes, you're going to yes. have on the back. I want some lights, I mean, coming down like okay. this on both sides. I want all this off, that's off, Well, this is going to come off eventually. Todo que esté bien smooth bien mamalón. How many lights do you want back there? I don't know, like... <laughs> a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. 
10 and 10, así dobles, no sé. We can see different styles. If you don't want these here, we'll cover them up. No, so those can stay. So nada más que corra como yo, dos, dos líneas y que pare aquí. Let me do this, let me drop something and I'll send it to you and yeah. you tell me what you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, it's just gonna be an added plus we're gonna do. Yeah, I wanna cover this. We'll do a shock box here. I do uh, want that painted though, blanco, o sea que sea todo blanco. I'll get it painted. We can also add lights here or we can do lights facing down, whatever you want. On the cap panels, if we do the punch lights to Aranda, that's fucking badass. Okay. They're three quarter inch lights. Since we're adding the lights underneath the bottom of the cap panel, I think what would be cool, we do a filler panel. Basically, it's gonna be a filler panel. You can also paint it. Like you're gonna have up on the shock sí. box, it's gonna cover your gap from tank to tank. Oh, I've seen them. And then we'll them. do the same lights on the bottom, a three quarter inch facing down. We can add 12 oh, or okay. 10, okay. however okay. many you want. Mm -hmm. On the frame, wherever the filler panel ends, we'll do like a four inch or a five inch lip, kind of like a cap panel, going down to the back, and we can put lights on that. También. It's gonna make the truck look lower. Okay. It's gonna be like an illusion. And that could be painted red to this, or we can have it in stainless steel. Okay. Chrome. Paint it red to match. Whatever you want. Oh. You're the customer. Todos estos que ya no se usan, hay que quitarlos. Well, let's do this on this. It's more work, but at the end of the day, this truck's gonna be badass. We're gonna do some countersunk bolts so you won't see the bolt. We'll countersunk the bolt. We'll do a little bit of body work on top. It's okay. gonna look like glass. It's gonna look smooth. Smooth, that's what I'm looking for. All this is gonna look smooth. What about this? What can we do here to, to eliminate this? Like, I don't need the PTO. I'm taking the PTO off. Algo que se mire más clean, más slick. There's different options. We can redo one or add a cover to this. It looks like whoever built it did a decent job. I mean, we could just maybe put a cover on it or we can do away with it, cover it up, it's and then have it lying in the back of the truck. Okay. I don't know what your setup with trailer is. Well, I haven't got the trailer yet. We're fixing to go to Dallas. It's gonna be a six, seven car hauler. Well, then we can do the lights in the back. The actual airlines will run them all the way to the back. We'll keep all that smooth. Hace poquito más para abajo el T-bar, el bar este, y los puse aquí las líneas. No, no por lo que pasa es que si we want to go with the airlines back here, this ain't gonna work. We just gotta build them a box. You know, I did one. I think it'll look better, dude, too. Whatever you think is gonna look better. I actually like this bar, así como está. Me gustaría taparle aquí también, para que no se mire nada esto. We can leave this the way it is, we'll cover this up, and we'll work off that. We'll just do that. I think that's just all right. Beto, I think we need to get rid of those. Those look nice Good. enough. I want to change them. Quiero que se miren todos blancas. Clear, clear, clear look. White. Okay, yeah. yeah. And I don't know about these, but we'll do something different. Yeah. A nicer bezel. This bar I mean, is staying. We're just changing the lights and we're removing them. Yeah. That. I mean, it's a nice bar that's been built. Yeah. At the end of the day, these lights are clashy. So we'll do all of these. We'll cover them up. We're going to go with new lights, clear amber. Some badass mud flaps. We'll enclose the back part of your, your deck plate. We know what we're doing up in the front. We're going to smooth out the bolts. And then we're going to work off this existing piece here. We'll okay. build a nice cover so it looks clean when you go to a car show or yeah, truck show. Yeah, cover it up. We don't need to function that. La quita está bien arriba, ¿verdad? It's perfect there. It's high enough to give you room for your fenders. La quita cromada. Se miran bonitas así, recomiendo zona. Sí. Se miran bien mamalonas. No le voy a correr poner nada atrás después. Con la quita mamalona. No la ganches. No la Una troca perrona, ¿verdad, compa? Sí, sí. A huevo. These fenders are staying, right? They yeah. Look, they look good. Maybe a little cover here in the front. I could do the same thing, cover, just to cover up those brackets. Yeah, just a, just a yeah. flat panel. Yeah, and then we'll paint it the color of the frame. The frame. Some really nice hubcaps, yeah, instead oh, of those, stainless little, steel, same thing up in the front. The little minor accessories, like the caps and covers and stuff like that. I'm sure we're going to be missing a stuff, you know, here and there. But yeah, pretty much get the idea of the whole build. Big build. It's a big build, yes. It's a big build. It's a big build. Then we pretty much covered everything, man. There'll okay. be more details, of course. The tanks, for sure, we need to swap them out. We know what we want to do with the exhaust, the paint. We're ready to get the project started, man. Let's go inside. Let's talk about a little bit more. Uh, exactly what are we ordering, and uh, we'll be back. Clear to red look, definitely we'll go with a light like that. Full LED, it's of course clear look, it's gonna light up red. It's red. Does this switch the colors or the mass is red? That's gonna be red. Do they offer different colors where it switches? Yes, I do have a vendor trucks that offers a light that's okay. multicolor. Okay. It can be white and it can be red. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Since the truck's gonna be white with red, I want all the other colors, the LEDs to be oh, red. Oh yeah, that'll be cool because the truck's gonna be white yes. and red. Red, so it's just- go with it, something just, like that. Just, so lights like this on the back panel, okay. lights like this on the back cab of the, of the sleeper, right? For the top, we'll go with the, the Peterbilt looking light, something like this. Oh. Okay, yes. What do you call these lights? Let's call it something. Bullet light. Bullet light. Just a bullet. Peter Bell style light. Of course, it's gonna have clear amber. It's gonna light up yellow. Front. This one, they don't have where it switches. They don't have one that's red. Either okay. it's full red or it's legal like this. And then for your mini lights that are gonna go underneath, 
you have endless options here. I mean, we'll go with something like this. This lights up red okay. facing the bottom. And I think they do offer one that's quiet and red also. Okay, we want that one. So everything, once you hit the switch, they all turn white See. or they all turn red. See, that's what I'm looking one for. One or the here. other. Okay, so these are the lights that go under. Under the cap panel, they're gonna go under that piece we're gonna build for the frame, underneath the tank pillar. You can also put them on the breathers too. Yeah. If you decide to put lights. Yeah, 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 we need some lights on cool. the breathers too. For one switch, we wanna be white or red. It'll be red. If you wanna hit white, you hit the switch. The switch, okay. We'll do that. So top lights, cap lights, rear lights. We, need we know what we want for stacks. We got all that down. I'm gonna work on design from ATA on the grill on the parts. Okay. So you can approve them, and that pretty much handles everything. We'll man. go from there. I do want to choose a visor. Can you show me your visors? Yeah. The ones that are on our trucks, right? Okay. Oh. No quiero both. Sí. Sin both, obviamente. Yeah. No quiero que esté cachuchudo. Quiero que esté flat. Así que se mire así. Let's look at the ones we have outside, no? That's what we use on most of our trucks. A lot, on a lot of our trucks. Okay. That's one. Ese es el más popular. Flat visor. Those are all the same. I mean, but we can do whatever you want. So you're pretty much in the process of customizing everything here. There's a lot of trucks here everywhere. There's always trucks here, brother. We got trucks that are wrecked. We change out sleepers on that one. That one had a jackknife. Okay. It's one of my personal trucks. Basically took it apart, make sure that the cab was straight, which we put in the airbag, straightened it out. Okay. Now we're fixing to put this sleeper okay. onto this truck. It's like trucking, man. You gotta be careful out there, the weather. We just try to tell the drivers to be safe, man. I mean, but things do happen like this. It can get dangerous. Yeah, yes. can. This is a really nice color. Yeah, we just finished this one right now. We're letting the paint cure because we're going to wet sand and buff it to give it that wet look and a glass look. But yeah, this is a true blue color. If I'm not mistaken, it's off of Chevrolet Camaro. It's like a Camaro it. color and that's a Chrysler color there. He brought it in. We're going to paint the tanks. We're going to paint the air breathers and then give it a nice buff finished job for it. This is a nice color. I think I like that visor. Pero tienes más opción que nos puedes enseñar en un carro o no, que puedas ordenar tú o no más acarreas este. No, I can do whatever you want. I can send you some pictures or just look to see what you want. We'll have it custom made. Yeah, we can do that. I forgot. We want some lights here. Y enfrente, pero que sean de las de las watermelons. Que machen las de arriba. ¿Tú me entiendes? Que sean unas cuatro o cinco. Well, what about the three deal up on top? You don't want to do that after? No, ya no. Okay, cool. Quiero que se mire. No, we'll, we'll, we'll do these and then we'll put maybe three because we don't want to put them all the way through because if you lower the hood it might be in the way okay okay it, yeah. it might interfere with it. i just wanted to match cool. that and then the one that goes here i wanted to match to that, match that and to match that awesome you know what I'm it all beautiful uniform exactly. this this is like a stainless steel for the hub? yeah for the hubs in the back or in the rear on the rear oh like this is no chrome this is okay. the, like the real deal and then you take the nuts off your actual hub, and then you put a tuerca. Y luego el cap. Y luego el cap arriba. Nice, I've never seen this. Does it matter, see? Yeah, the nut cover's gonna go mm, over the bolt. Just like that, nice. These will go around the, to your lug nuts. Then this thing, okay. Yeah. And we can do this in the front, and then leave the outer part exposed so it's red. Para que se mire rojo. Yes, sir. So se va a mirar un poquito rojo en frente. I like that, I like yeah. that. Yeah, no, we're gonna do that. Oh, this is actual, okay. Stainless steel. Si, sí, wey, mira. No es plástico. Es como los breeders de los sí. air cleaners. I brought some, uh, just, just, just brought some, the two X and the your camera. Awesome, man. And then I just brought some XL stuff. Cool deal. Some nice hats. Badass. You know, got these different black, blue. I'm alone. Just awesome. Para que la pases a la racita. Para la gente aquí, para que represente on the gas racing. Okay. Two go. couple of XLs. Y también los, just a couple stickers. Awesome, bro. Just some goodies. Oh, yeah. For the workers. What's crazy, bro? I go all over San Antonio and I see this sticker. Ah. In back of the trucks. We got That's fans. badass. We got fans everywhere. San Antonio, Houston, Dallas, California, Colorado, Vegas, oh, wow. everywhere. New Mexico. We're teaming up with some dudes. We're going to start doing shows in Vegas and in Cali. And we're doing one in Atlanta here, September 3rd. What deal, man? So it's growing pretty big. Well, all right, guys. That's pretty much it here in San Antonio at the Texas Chrome Shop. We went over a bunch of stuff, me and my boy Roland. We're still going to be in contact. We still got to decide what kind of visor we're going to get. The lights, the cap panels in the bottom. And there's a bunch of little stuff that we're, we still got to discuss. Pretty much, y'all got an idea of what it's going to look like. It's going to look pretty good. It's going to have that 2022 white pearl from Ford. It's a badass color. I know Frank likes it because every time he sees the 450, 
he makes a comment about it. Yeah, every time I see it, I'm like, damn, I forget it has the sparkles. Like, it's real metallic. It has a lot of metallics. It looks real good once the sun hits it. Now, we are using the On The Gas Red on the frame of the truck. So, big shout out to my people. Shout out to Tammy at Orion Finishes. She's the one hooking us up with all the paint. We do got some more colors coming up. We do have a blue coming up. We have a purple. We already got a red one. There's a bunch of colors coming out, so y'all stay tuned for that. And make sure to like, subscribe, hit all the better notifications. That's it for today, guys. Let's go.